Hello everybody, Pete here and in this video I want to show you three ways in which you can get really dramatic dark skies in your black and white conversions in Lightroom. So let's start with the first and that's probably one you already know but nevertheless I'm gonna uh, repeat it maybe. So if you click on the black and white button here or you click on the V key which is the shortcut to the same then you probably know that in the black and white panel you can play with these sliders to determine how light or dark gray the different colors get and so for example if I want a really moody dark sky then I can just drag the blue slider to the left and as you can see this gives me already a very dramatic sky. Now sometimes that'll be enough but depending on the amount of blue in your sky sometimes you might want to make it even darker and in those instances the second thing you can try is to play around with the temperature slider because oddly enough although white balance is basically a color thing it also affects the grayscale conversion so for example look what happens if I drag the temperature slider to the left then you see for the same level of the blue slider in the black and white panel you see that the sky does get darker however it also affects other things in the image so there might be a limit to how far you can drag this before you get unwanted side effects so that's the second way that you can control how dark a blue sky gets in a black and white conversion and the third way is a way that few people ever try and it's a little bit by experimentation that I found out about it. It's in the camera calibration panel which is deservedly so I would say all the way at the bottom because very few people ever need to use that but look what happens if you play around with the saturation of the blue primary and if I increase that saturation you see that I can also make that sky appear a lot darker and that's in a way that's logical because the more saturated the blue gets the more responsive this slider can get so those are the three ways that you can use and combine in Lightroom to get those killer dark or even almost black skies and this technique also works really well with those cityscapes and those long exposure cityscape images where you have clouds against the blue sky and you really want to darken down that sky and notice that I didn't even have to use any local adjustments here this was all done with global adjustments so this also means I can synchronize this across 20 different other images without having to ever use a local adjustment now one word of caution you, you're, you're better off to inspect the clouds and the blue in your images because sometimes when you do really drastic conversions and that's not only for this technique but for any technique in Lightroom you might notice that some parts of your images get a little bit more noise than others and so one way to counteract that because if half of your image is noisy and the other half isn't that's a dead giveaway that you've been tampering with the image a bit too much maybe. So what you can do is increase the grain slider to a level, if you zoom in at 100%, to a level that has the same amount of grain or noise across your image. And that should help to, to get it, uh, you know, like in here for example, I think that that makes a really nice match across the image. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. A couple of tips in Lightroom to get really moody black and white conversions with your sky. Thanks for watching and see you again on another one. Bye bye for now.